welcome back. So we're gonna start. We're gonna slowly start talking about these files here that you see in the tree view. We'll see what they are for, what do they, what is their purpose, and what is the code within them. A lot of these files we will not use, and for a very good reason. One of the prime examples of the file of, of a file that we are not going to use is the Docker file. Why? Well, because we don't really need to create containers. If you know what Docker is, great for you. If not, feel free to search, look it up on the net. It's a very interesting new technology. But in any case, we do not need to create actually Docker files here at all. Dockers are like uh, containers where you can contain a single application on your system. But that's not the subject of today. Anyway, as I said, a lot of these files we won't be looking at because they don't really make sense for us now, logical sense that is. One of the files that does make sense is package.json. Should be around here somewhere. Yep, there we go. And this is the file that we're going to take a look at and that we're going to explain. So first of all, you have, let me just do this so that you can see it a little bit better. There you go. So over here, you have package.json and this is a NPM, a node package manager file. This file contains the metadata about our project. Here you can find project name, ver uh, name, version, and probably the most important thing of it all, dependencies. You can also find dev dependencies that are, that are needed for the development of the project. Anyway, the dev dependencies are down below. You can see them here and up there up, 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 above, you can see our scripts. So you have the start script. Do you remember when we typed in npm start? Well, this is what is being executed. You have the TSC TypeScript compiler, and you have this one, it's passed concurrently. So what, what does it mean? What, is, what does this line stand for? Well, the, uh, the TypeScript compiler is started, and then the you want to state that, the, that these two will be concurrent. So you will have the TypeScript compiler again, which will watch for any changes and will recompile for those changes, which will be taken by the light server and represented on the screen, so to say. And down below, you also have, again, other scripts. You could just as easily type in npm docker build, but we don't really need that now. It is not important to us at all all. I'm just saying that these are the scripts which you can start with the node package manager or npm. So uh, you can open up the CMD as before. As you can see, I've already done some testing here. You can go ahead and clear the screen with the command CLS. And I'm going to see the... Uh, let me just go ahead and do this. CLS. So we need to navigate over to the quick start and mine is on the desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and navigate over to the desktop and type in quick start master, enter. And from here, I will be able to invoke NPM. You can see that all the files are in fact there. I sincerely hope that you too have actually downloaded this to desktop or it doesn't matter if you didn't, you could have downloaded it wherever you wanted it to be, but as long as you can navigate in the CMD to that folder, to the quick start master folder. Anyway, uh, in order to basically install the dependencies, all we need to do is type in npm install. And this will actually install the dependencies needed. If I press enter, it'll just gonna take a while, but it will happen. There you go, it's happening slowly one by one, it's going. Okay, there we go, it's done. So no big deal. I mean, it is a virtual machine, it is a little bit slower, and I have done this like a hundred times prior to this because I had some sound issues. So if, you're, if your output is a little bit different, no big deal, as long as you don't get any errors. So just type in npm install to install the dependencies. Also, we can see the properties of the scripts. These are scripts that we call with npm. We are 
basically the start you you do actually invoke the start with npm you type in npm start and this will actually start the script start the commands embedded in there so look let me just show you what i mean by it npm start press enter and there you go it says tsc and concurrently and then you have tsc dash w and little server and there you go it's actually loading but you have the same things written out here as you can see tsc concurrently tsc dash w little server so you can see it all there what is going to happen so you can look at the properties of these scripts that you are invoking with the npm which is a very useful you can know in advance what is going to happen okay so the next file, the the next file that we're gonna play around with is the tsconfig.json. Okay, so we can leave all of this as it is, uh, no big deal. Actually, let's just not. I mean, we could, but I'm just gonna press Control C to terminate it because we don't actually need it running now. We will need it running later, but no big deal there. Let's just go back to the IDE and look for the tsconfig.json. Uh, let me use my expert skills in file finding. There we go. Open it up. And we will need to actually go ahead and alter this file a little bit in order to make it suitable for our needs. So the first thing that we will do is actually create a new folder. Sorry. And that new folder will be called tmp. So tmp. There we go. So this is our new folder TMP. And as you can see, it is completely empty as I'm clicking on the arrow and nothing is popping down below. So under compiler options here, we need to go down to the bottom, place a comma here, press enter and oh God, then open up the quote marks and add the following line. So out dear, uh, go outside of the quotation marks, colon. And here we're gonna type in, here we're just gonna go ahead and open up the quotation marks and type in TMP slash app. So when the TSC TypeScript compiler compiles, it will compile into TMP slash app folder so that the compiled files wouldn't actually bother us elsewhere, which will be very useful. Anyway, the next thing that we need to do is go to system.config.js. So let me just go ahead and find it. Should be, ah, uh, God, there we go. Ah, that was like hit and miss. And here we're gonna make some alterations as well. So under var map, here we'll need to just make some, uh, make very few changes. So where it says app here, and where it says we have a uh, quote mark, app, quote mark, colon, and then we're just gonna have a single quote mark again, type in TMP slash app. And yep. So when this begins looking for files from the app folder, it needs to, I seem to have made an error here, such a wonderful error. Mm. Come on, need to delete all of this. And okay, so under var map, all you need to do is type in tmp slash app. That's pretty much it. Uh, we're basically stating when, uh, when it is looking for files from the app folder that it should look instead in the tmp slash app. That's quite literally it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and press control S to save. And then we're gonna go ahead and just save and uh, control S save for all three files. And then we shall just take a look one more time. It TMP is empty. So now we shall go ahead and type in N 
pm start and press enter. Wait for it. Okay, it's running the scripts. Excellent. You can see that the TMP is being populated. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Come on. Okay, my first Angular 2 app and where it says app here, you can see that the components have been placed here amongst other things and the TMP folder has indeed been populated without any problems. Okay, so in the follow-up tutorial, we will continue explaining some of these other files uh, before we actually start coding. I'll bid you farewell here and I'll see you shortly in the follow-up tutorial.